So, uh, being the silly chunker that I am, I decided to pull some high G maneuvers, and um, it cost me. As you can see, the aircraft is heavily damaged. Um, yeah, this is Dragonfly. Uh, I'm gonna try and land this thing. If you're wondering why it's not spinning out, it's because Atmosphere Autopilot is a great job of doing SAS. Uh, and we have the rear control surfaces here. We have one vertical stabilizer left. I'm not going to try and land on the runway anymore. Uh, I think our best bet is to uh, try and retain some control with thrust vectoring, because the Panthers are very good at that. And um, we'll get Jeb and Bob, Jeb and, Jeb and Bill back on the ground safely. Hopefully. Get some GCS views in there, yeah. Um, yeah. This landing is going to have to be a bit faster and a bit higher angle of attack than I'm used to. But... No, 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 no. Brakes. Brakes. Oh, and we skid to a stop. And that, my friends, was a landing with no wings missing one of our control services. If you're wondering why the wing the wing things look like they do, it's because this is actually a wing sweep aircraft. So I'm going to recover that, and then I'll relaunch it. Uh, Dragonfly is actually a really nice plane, and um, with Atmosphere Autopilot, it works really well. So I'm proud of this, and I built it in like 20 minutes. So here it is in all of its glory. It can accelerate to Mach 2.7 in about 30 seconds. Uh, it is super maneuverable. Uh, that's what I was testing, but uh, because of the variable wing geometry, the uh, super maneuverability was hindered. So we're going to toggle our engines. We're going to disable RCS instead. We're going to go autopilot. We're going to turn on the master switch, and we're going to set it to normal. Uh, usually, though, uh, it can take off a lot faster than that. I was just not paying attention. Its stall speed is like 50 meters a second. Uh, I don't know how it works with VAR, because this is a new instance for Luna Multiplayer that I slapped together with minimal mods. Uh, I mean, of course, the visual mods, so gotta have Airplane Plus and Procedural Wings, but otherwise, like, my bare necessity mods, not the huge amount that I have otherwise. So it is still quite maneuverable, and uh, at lower speeds, we disable that. I can practically Cobra and do some other crazy crap. As you can see, it's got an insane thrust weight ratio. Uh, so it's it's stalled right now. Uh, I just engage the afterburners and we're back in level flight. And uh, I recovered that without any help from SAS at all. I'm getting much better at flying after DCS. Yeah, as you can see, that was pretty much a Cobra. I am going to turn on the master switch now though, uh, just so we don't do that again. I'm gonna pull the wings in, and I'll show you guys its capabilities as supersonic. Okay, I was uh, being a bit facetious when I said 30 seconds, and again, it's only been about 15, and we've already break it, broken the sound barrier. I have a feeling this performed quite well with VAR as long as you have uh, aerodynamic failures turned off. It might not be as maneuverable and a stall speed would probably be higher. Otherwise, it's a nice aircraft. So yeah, as you can see we're at Mach 1.6 currently. You can probably get to about Mach 2.7 in about a minute and a half, probably. Our acceleration is good. It can probably super cruise, I'm pretty sure. This could be NGAD, except it's not stealthy. <laughs> it, it, it is not a stealthy airframe at all. But it's practically SR-71 levels of awesomeness at this point. As you can see, we're very low to the ground. I'm gonna just 
finish up a little bit there. This thing could probably fare quite well in a dogfight. I like the camera distortion effect. It can be a bit bothersome at times. I'm trying to look at the aircraft from behind. But you can't because of reasons. So yeah, we're pitched up a little. I know, it bears resemblance to an F-14. Okay, our engines are overheating. We're at Mach 2.38, I'm pretty sure if we gain some altitude, though, that our speed can increase a bit with thinner air. So I'm going to pull into the vertical here. I'm bleeding off. I ble I've bled off about half, um, half a Mach there. And uh, that, okay, we dropped from about Mach 2.5 to Mach 1.5, but uh, that's not bad overall. So we're in pretty much level flight, and if I go to cruise flight controller, pretty sure. As long as we hold this attitude, we're going to be pretty good. I would get a nice camera tools shot, but I don't have camera tools here. Mach 2.87. Wait, are we going to break Mach 3? We might break Mach 3. This plane is ridiculous. It looks like Mach 2.88, this altitude. I'm going to switch back to standard fly-by-wire, I'm going to pitch up a little. You equip this thing with uh, rapiers, and it could probably go to space. Just because the rapiers good performance above a uh, thing. It doesn't have any j uh, rocket fuel, it's just jet fuel. Uh, but just the jet mode on the rapiers could probably take this thing uh, quite much quicker than it's going now. And you slap a rocket fuel tank in here. And uh, that burst of speed, it might even be able to be an SSDO. But I don't know. I'm going to turn around now. I'm going to switch to default. Yeah, that was 15 Gs right there. I'm trying not to bleed off too much speed, though. down to get my cat, uh, but my, my hand touched my microphone. It's quite unstable for some reason. We don't want to crash. So we're going to fly back to base now, I think. Okay, the engines are getting red hot there. So I think I'm going to shut them off for now just so they can cool down a bit. Every little maneuver is pushing us up over 5 Gs. I'm going to keep the engines on, but I'm going to turn them off of afterburner. in the mountains. Where is the Kerbal Space Center? Kerbal Space Center is just over there. The only reason I could not land uh, planes previously was because of Ferrum. So yeah, I'm going to re-engage the afterburner. And uh, we're going to look inside of the cockpit there. And I don't have parallax right now because again this is supposed to be multiplayer otherwise Ooh, what did I just do? I think I turn off the engines. It might be a better uh, prowess of skill to show it like landing on a cliff top or something. Uh, but it's I'm gonna land it on the runway just for goodness sakes because you know I haven't shown that to you guys yet. I haven't shown you guys that I can land a plane, and I promise I can. Well, actually, I have. But there were several times where I doubted my abilities to be able to land planes, but that was in... Uh, that was with Faramara's base. Can't 
can't talk a lot, or the game kills you. And if you're wondering how the wings aren't being floppy, I... First of all, I have them ridged attached. I have them attached rigidly. Uh, second of all, um, I have same vessel interaction enabled on these and these, so it's sandwiched between those two wing pieces. Oh no. Oh crap, we're a long way away from the uh, Kerbal Space Center. Our engine's overheated. I was not paying attention at all. Um, this is a nice, this is a nice field though. I, as, if, as you saw in the beginning of the video though, I landed the plane. Um, so I'm gonna, I, I, yeah, I landed the plane. Uh, one second. to go do something for a second, uh, but, um, yeah, we're going to glide down and land. I need to wrap this up quickly, so we're going to deploy air brakes. No, we're not, because I don't want problems. Oh, yeah, maybe we are. Okay, yeah, this is, this is problematic. Alrighty, our crew is safely on the ground where they can be recovered. And that is all. Good day, everybody.